Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl L to the D to the L to the D to the L to the D to the Ladessa. What's going on? What's good? What's happening? I am doing good. Happy Sunday. By the time you see this, if all goes well, it will be Monday. So happy Monday. Um, I just wanted to pop in and say what's up and show you some new stuff that I bought. I am in the bathroom. <laughs> Every time I come, I have a new background. And I'll give you the explanation for this bathroom setup while you subscribe and I look around and make sure I have everything that I need for this video and kind of organize myself. Go ahead and hit that red button. It's right there. Go ahead. It's not, it doesn't cost you anything. You don't get in trouble. You don't get any tickets. You're not breaking the law or anything. So just go ahead. All right. Okay. You did it. All right. Well, you can always do it at the end of this video or during this video. It doesn't matter to me. So the reason for this background is we have an apartment and a home. I am at our apartment and I am going to be here pretty much all week. So I was like, well, how am I going to record a video? I don't have all my lights and my fancy new camera and all of that. I do have my ring light now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So I was like, well, lighting in the bathroom is always great. So I'm in the bathroom. And I wanted to show you some new things that I had to get to accompany me while I'm here at our apartment because I didn't want to lug all of my stuff here. So I went down to the Ulta and um, I was lucky enough to get one of the Mac Fix Pluses that was on sale for $13. I had just ordered some actually the coconut flavor or not flavor but the coconut scent for $26 and I was like when I seen that sale I was like what and of course it wasn't the fragranced ones it was the original on sale for $13 so I was like well let me hurry up and get one so I checked the Ulta um in Milwaukee where I am right now and they said they didn't have any so I was like oh well and of course they were all sold out by the time I got online but I go down to the Ulta to get some little travel size stuff and there was one bottle left and the um the store clerk or sales clerk was telling another lady that there was only one left and I whip my head and I start putting on like so there's only one. Um, the Ulta site you all said you all didn't even have any. And the lady, the nice, nice, lovely white lady, she was like, here you go. Seems like you want it more than I do or need it more than I do. And I was like, thank you. And if I was a touchy-feely person, I would have hugged her, but that ain't my steed. So I just gave her a nice look. Thank you. And went on about my business tooling around the Ulta. So I hope you all got to take advantage of this great sale that they had and that $26 one that I have not opened or used is going back to the stove. All right, so some other stuff that I got was this Mario Badesco. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I got this spray, this facial uh, spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea, and I got the um, enzyme wash and so far so good i mean i just got the travel size so this cost me like 11 bucks 12 bucks i think yeah this was seven and this was five so that wasn't too bad um i just did a peel yesterday a gelatin peel um and right where i'm most porous at which is right here um it it sting you know kind of stings a little bit but hopefully it's just kind of getting into the pores and healing them up what else did I get? Oh, while I was there, I needed a moisturizer. So I purchased this Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. There we go. Yeah, so I got this uh, moisturizer. And then I was at Sephora last week because women be shopping in my Dave Chappelle voice. And I got this, I purchased rather, 
this no problem no problem no problem <laughs> primer and uh, the brand is called touch and soul so I purchased this and it feels really really nice I already have it on and I mixed that with my Mac strobe cream what else did I buy while I was there that's it so oh and then the last thing that I purchased which is one eye is complete is the it's my Ray Ray palette from BH cosmetics so every time I would since it came out every time I would see it on the site it was sold out so I would put myself on the waiting list and then I would forget about it because the emails would go to my spam um, and then as soon as I would be watching like a YouTube tutorial or something and see somebody, uh-uh, see somebody using it, I'd be like, oh my God, let me get, you know, and of course, again, it would be sold out. But luckily, it's now at Ulta, so I was able to order it online. So, uh-oh, I have, I finally have my It's My Ray Ray palette. Um, I didn't order the shadows, or not the shadows, the lippies or the brushes. I have enough lipstick. But on my eye... I have the Control Freak, which is right here. I have that as my, um, oh, you can see my setup. <laughs> um, I have that as my transition color. And then I have Connie right here in the outer corner. And then I mixed Passion and Tiffany. I mixed those two for right here in my lower corner of my lid. So I've already primed my eye with the um, Makeup Revolution Concealer NC12. And uh, we'll just do this eye and chew chat a little bit. So, congratulations is in order to Cordy B. She was finally, as she said, she's finally free to let us know that what we already knew is that she is with child. And I wrote about it when the rumor first broke well, not when it first broke, but shortly after when she started wearing those really big clothes and was kind of like, Cardi, like, for real, now is not the time for you to be down to the, the babies are us getting baby clothes. But um, Cardi tweeted after she revealed last night on Saturday Night Live that she was pregnant and she said something that really silenced me and silenced everybody else that was in her business is that she fought against the odds already. So how much harder do you think she's going to fight now that she has a baby to take care of? And I was like, you know what, Cardi? You absolutely right. So let me get out of your business and congratulate you because I am a part of the Barty game. And then people started trying to cause more problems and say that uh, Remy um, was somehow hating on Cardi. And I was like, Remy is not a hater. Would she prefer that her career would be a little better? Of course. I mean, you know, in her own right, she's a bit of a... A bit of a, a legend, I guess. Oh, let's see, 13. Um, as far as uh, female rappers go, or MCs, but um, Remy sent out her congratulations to Cardi as she should. So I was happy about that. I didn't see any congratulations from Little Kim. And of course, we know who will not be congratulating her is uh, Nicki Minaj. Remember, Nicki Minaj went looking for her career and it was down to Cardi's house? <laughs> I'm just not... I, I enjoy Nicki when she uh, is rapping like Little Kim. Um, but I don't enjoy her after... Remy revealing that she was doing all that destructive stuff um, when Remy was, you know, just trying to get her bones again. Like, really um, trying to flex her power. So, I became non nikki enthusiast. Because <clears throat> I'm not a hater. 
And then um, I don't have all of my brushes, so I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I'm going to take Allison right here and put that in the corner of my eye. I'm not, I was gonna do like lashes and all of that, but it is very late at night. So I just have on the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex. Um, mascara. You know what really makes me mad? Cause I'm not a fan of BH Cosmetics. What makes me mad when these, um, these like, I don't know, I guess when you want to call them affordable, affordable brands do these collaborations. They always, um, let me set this mirror up here. They always do better with the product when they do these collaborations. And I'm just like, why can't you just make a solid product from the Giddy Up? Because to me, in my experience with BH Cosmetics, and I know some people love them, um, the eyeshadows are just too chalky. Um, and not like because they're creamy and buttery like the It's My Ray Ray palette. They're just really like cheaply made. And I don't know if maybe I just got a bad batch but every one that I have is like that so I don't know how I could have gotten a bad batch but this one this it's my regular palette these colors are so pigmented even the mattes and they're like buttery soft and they apply so nicely I will say that I think they apply better like right in here I was able to get it to apply a little bit better with my finger rather than a brush, but nonetheless still a much better um, application than the regular brand. So step it up, BH Cosmetics. All right, so I'm gonna complete my BH Cosmetics um, look with the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation, the Naturally Flawless, Flawless in Mocha, and I'm actually going to mix that with Elf Cocoa. Um, so here I go, I take myself down to the Sephora, right? Because all the girls down to the YouTube are talking about this $52 Tatcha Primer. And I was like, well, I want some. I was looking a hot casket ready bring me my flowers mess and I was so mad and then um, because Mac had really been drying my skin out um, I normally am Mac Studio Fix NC 50 it had been really drying my skin out so I had been looking for different foundations and I you know tried elf which I absolutely love. I was saying I didn't like, like it before, but I love it um, for $6. And then I like the BH Cosmetics. But I'm like, I'm really taking care of my skin, so let me get something a little better. So I purchased the Tatcha Silk Primer, and I purchased some NARS. And... Um, it was a no for me, dog. I was looking really ashy and gray and really unattractive. And I was really, really mad for $100. So I took Tatcha back and got me some really good skin serum. And that's kind of where I am. I um, am still looking for a really good um, high-end foundation. Um, I like full coverage, so I was going to, um, oh, I'll just leave that on the floor. I found myself looking at um, Becca, and that was really, really nice as well, but um, it's not a full coverage, um, so... 
Um, and they, you know, it's one of those that says that they're, uh -oh, says it's buildable, but I don't want a lot, um, a lot of product on my face. Because like I said, I'm really trying to take care of my, my skin. So, uh-oh. I don't want to put a lot of product on it because I'm trying to get rid of these little fine lines and wrinkles. Not that I'll get rid of them, but, you know, at least the appearance of them. All right, so I'm going to use my Fix Plus and put some Cover FX setting powder down um, in my smile lines. <clears throat> and, yeah. What else can we talk about? Um, so we talked about Cardi. We talked about Nikki. <laughs> talked about Remy. Um, I don't. I don't really. What else is going on? Not too much, right? Cardi is the biggest story in town. There are some what the Wednesday moments that I found online that I really want to talk about but that's for another video and they were quite interesting too <laughs> all right so I am going to finish my face up and come back and show you this new wig that I have um, I kind of showed it to you before on my video with uh, when I was down in Georgia, but I was in the car, so you couldn't really get into it, get into it. But what I will say is I love the It's My Ray Ray palette, and that's mainly what this video was about and just a chit chat. I love the pigments are beautiful. Um, I love that they are nice and buttery. You get a little bit of fallout, but that's with any pigmented eyeshadow. But not too bad for 22 bucks, right? All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just sprayed my, my new uh, Fix Plus. Let me just say, uh, it's my Ray Ray. Miss Ray Ray did not come to play with y'all. She came to slay. And that's exactly what she did. I took that same combination that I have right here at the uh, outer corner or inner corner of my lid and took that down right here that's my lash line and kind of winged it out as you can see I'm using my Mikasa Beauty brushes hope you all have not forgotten that I do have a little discount code for you um, it's right here right here and down in the description box thank you so much to you all that have purchased it that made me feel really really purchase your brushes or um excuse me any uh lipstick or nail products that you've bought from the Mikasa beauty site thank you so much and don't forget i am only three subscribers away from a hundred subscribers so we're doing a hundred subscriber giveaway that could be you or you could subscribe and then you can tell two of your your home slices tell them to subscribe and then you all can share the giveaway together so i'm just using my nyx nyx have we um officially figured out what the correct name is for this brand an espresso not espresso espresso it's gonna take that And line my lips and I uh, oh I have uh, some uh -oh. it's not forming in my nose um I normally always use the Jackie Ina LaBrons uh, highlight but I took full advantage of this palette and um you get 21 shades 
shimmers, mattes, <clears throat> in the um, eyeshadow portion, and then you get contouring and highlight here down at the bottom. I'm sure by now you all have seen it, but I'm just now talking about it. So I use, I mixed um, French toast right here, and I mixed radiant for my highlight, and then I'm going to just uh, smash my lips together. And then I'm going to use Smooch by Bodyography, which is a brand that's on the Mikasa Beauty site. And then I'm just going to lightly go in the center of my lips. And uh, then I'm gonna use Riri's Gloss Bomb right there in the middle. So it appears that High volume lip glosses are are making a comeback all through my um, through my Instagram feed. There are so many ads for lip glosses and nice shiny kind of in the same vein as lip glasses are coming back, and I think that's probably because. Not all the brands are reformatting their mattes, their matte lip glosses and matte, um, and matte lipsticks because they can get to be so drying. And if you put something on as a base, oh, throwing something away. If you put something on as a base, if you put just a little too much, then the mattes break up. High-end, low-end mattes all across the board. So I'm going to use some good old dollar store softy super freeze <laughs> protein gel for these edges before I put this wig on and get these edges together okay. there was a, um, I'm in a couple of beauty groups on Facebook and a lady asked this question she said um, do, a, do any of you just put makeup on and not have anywhere to go um, she was saying that she was just getting into makeup and practicing and there was a resounding uh, Yes <laughs> Yes, where am I going in this full face of a glam To this sink right here and wash this off But it was so funny and then some girl Chimed in and was like no my makeup costs too much money for me to be playing around Shut up Everybody has to start somewhere. And so you get your uh, you get your pay and your weight up in the makeup game by sitting at home in front of the mirror or getting on the live and practicing. All right, so here is my new little beauty. This is Vanessa. She is from a brand called uh, By Fifth Avenue. This is the structure of her. There aren't any combs. It's just a nice fitting wig. If my name was Vanessa, I'd feel really, uh, really fancy because her name is etched in here. My name is Ledessa, so that's close enough. And people, when they don't hear me correctly, call me Vanessa. So I'm going to be Vanessa right now. And it has the um, adjustment right here. All right, so we're going to put this baby on. And uh, fix this. Uh, and I've already worn her, but I haven't worn her for you all. Position that back just a little bit. And since I'm not going anywhere, I do wish that there were combs, but I just use bobby pins to secure her down. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. So, it's my Ray Ray for the win. I have to push her back just a little bit because I've cut these bangs so many times and I don't want to cut them too much and thin them out. So, I have to sit it back. This piece of hair belongs somewhere else. There we go. Um, oh, yes, yes. Dang, I wish I had somewhere to go. 
but it is uh, almost 11 o'clock on a Sunday night and I have to I have work tomorrow so yes this is uh, Vanessa how do you like Vanessa I like Vanessa a lot um okay let's fashion her uh oh there's a piece of hair let me look in the mirror <laughs> Okay. So, anyway, I have to push her back a little further off my off my head so I can get the bang to fall just right and so you can still see my beat. Um uh, Oh, okay, there we go. Tori Hart, I don't know if it's a wig or a weave. I'm thinking it's probably a wig. Tori Hart has this red wig. It's in this um, same kind of curl pattern, except the curls are a little bigger and springier. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. And I am on the hunt for a wig with that curl pattern. Okay. There we go. All right. So here we are. Congratulations to Cardi B. Nikki, find something to do. Um, if you're pregnant, congratulations. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back later on this week so we can do some what the... Uh, I look good to me. <laughs> So we can do some uh, What the Wednesdays. And um, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Come on, Ray Ray. Ray Ray did not come to play. She came to slay. And that is exactly what she did. And this wig is giving me all the goodness that anyone could ask for. All right, guys, so hit the subscribe button. Don't forget that we are just three people away from 100 subscribers. And uh, I would like you, even if you, okay, look, even if you just like wait, right? You just wait until it's 99 and then you hit the, the subscribe button. I, that's okay. That's cool. You could do that. But tell two other people to subscribe so you can be the hundredth one how about we play that game okay and then you just drop um drop your comments in the comment section and let me know uh what you think of this look have you used the it's my ray ray palette do you like it um what is your thoughts on how my channel was going so far and uh yeah and just remember always to pack light because bag lady, bag man, you're going to hurt your back dragging all them bags like that. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.